Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, and today we are back to play some more of Mr. Kohei's Horror Show. Um, we found out quite a lot about ourselves in the last part, that we were quite bullied at school, quite incredibly badly bullied at school, and that our mother was a little bit of a jerk. But our brother was our supportive rock. So I guess we need to delve further into our mind now. Oh, we found two yellow photos. That's good. I haven't had to use any photos yet, actually, because I think, and I don't know for sure, but I think if your mental state deteriorates, because that's one of the aspects of the game, you can get down on yourself. But I think the colour in the background of your portrait there would change colour. It stayed green. So I'm assuming it would go like green, yellow, red, a little bit like Silent Hill's background colours on the menu to tell you how close you were to being dead. So I think we're still okay. At least I hope we're still okay. What is all this on the walls? We're not looking at any of this stuff? I guess we're not. Is this me and my bro? Oh, it was a while after I started living on the streets. Oh my God, it got from bad to worse for him, didn't it? June started to visit me in my small area and gave me food and blankets. He would stay hours with me to keep me company or wait for the rain to stop. Even if it didn't, he would go back home drenched in water. Our brother was a champ, right? Wow, what a guy. Despite people looking at me with dubious eyes and me being afraid of the fellow homeless, I felt odd, as if I was relieved of a great burden. Man, and you know, that's a big insight into why so many young people end up homeless, right? I mean, people sometimes say, well, it's some, there's some people, who it's, it's a choice. It's like, yeah, but it's a choice between living on the streets and feeling safer than you are in your home or being at home and worrying that you're going to die. I mean, jeez, oh, it's, it's, it's not much of a choice, really. Is it weird I was really happy when he was with me? I didn't have a home or a bed or food anymore. And yet, I felt this limitless freedom I'd never experienced. Getting away from a toxic person is a massive, massive stress reliever. I mean, even if it does mean that you end up sleeping in the rain. June did so much for me, and I'm forever grateful to him. I wish we could spend more and more time together. So that you can hear his actual thoughts of you? Oh no. Oh no, here comes the self-doubt. And the guilt. How were you were so pitiful? Dependent on him? How he had to take care of you like a baby? Who? Who? Do you think he really loves you? Even now? You're just a worthless, broken person who can't even live as everyone expects. I... No, it's not. Oh, but what about when you wished you could switch places with him forever? To get all the love your mommy had for him. Sucks, doesn't it? To be the most garbage of all sons. Who is this horrible voice? Get out of my head. Get out. I only want happy thoughts in here, not bad thoughts. Ah, that's, that's not true. Nothing it is. I never, never thought. I didn't, I didn't want him, I never wished for him to take my place. What a liar. Come then, prove what you're saying. How do I, what happened? Oh, I lost control for a second. No, no, nothing. Everything's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Everything's fine, everybody. It's just fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. You know I can tell if you're lying. Mm-hmm. I think I heard a voice different from yours. Different? Good different or bad different? It said all sorts of things. As if it knew what I was feeling deep within. That's what introspection is all about, my friend. This is worse than I thought. Uh, let us go for now. Go? What do you mean go? Go? 
Am I in charge again? Oh, I am. Wait, there's another stage there. And a stage down. Well, why is there a million stages? Why is there a million stages? Which one are we meant to be on? Which one's our stage? Hello? How do we get out? Oh god, is it this way? Do we have to just follow the stages? I don't like this. No way. I want out. Where are we meant to go? Why is there? Where's the exit sign? Oi! Health and safety regulations stipulate that you need an exit sign somewhere in here, otherwise... <sighs> what, am I, what, what am I meant to do if there's a fire? I can't find my way out. Holy crap, is this the right? I'm meant to be going right or left? Oh god, no, it just keeps going. Uh... Oh! Oh! Mm, mm, um, just wanted to make sure my mental state wasn't too bad before I looked at whatever this is. So, do you understand now? What you really crave from within your heart? I, 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 I don't be afraid. It's all right. You know, when a creepy, spooky voice in my head shows me an image of my brother dead and then tells me it's all right, I am inclined to not believe it. I, I'm inclined to run in the other direction very fast. You already know what to do. Why fight when there's an even easier way? It's good. It's the right thing to do. You will be free from everything. And be at peace. Oh, is that meant to be me? Is that voice telling me to kill myself? Is that what you want? Well, I'm not going to give you the goddamn satisfaction. Isn't that what you wanted from the beginning? What should I do? Come forward, Kohei, without fear. Because you're not a coward, are you? Now, take one of them. Just one. One's really all you need. Good boy. You really are a good boy when you obey, you know that? Slowly, just a bit slowly, you pierce it through your chest and it's done. Just like that. Lights out. Really easy. Really simple. Really hideous, disgusting and horrifying. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Isn't it so easy and simple? I can't. I can't do it. It's too scary. Really? Oh, you're such a boring, worthless piece of garbage. My entertainment for the day has been ruined. Nobody wants to see you live. Don't you understand? The world would be better off without your existence. But that's not true. I have... Family and friends and... Oh, just shut your mouth. Too bad. I really wanted to help you. Uh, uh. What? I don't like this. Oh, I don't know where. That our mom. That meant to be our mom. Oh, we can go through that. Uh... Uh, I don't like this. Hi. Not talking, huh? Uh, um, uh, oh god, my mental health is absolutely abysmal. Um, 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 I've got three yellow photos. F uh, f uh, use one. The stress is lowered discreetly. Oh. Let's use another one then. Are we good? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. What does this say? Rising my head up to the bright sky, I see an object of desire. Brimming with light, caressing my whole being, I so yearn to be embraced once more. I follow after, until it dies beyond the field of vision, and night comes. I, any ideas? Do we go this way? Huh? 
Um, uh, oh, I just realized that her eyes move. Oh. So what are we meant to do? Do we have any items we can use here? Silver locket. <gasps> can we can we use it? Oh, I don't want to read it again. I've read it before. Do I use the silver this? Oh, oh, the silver locket completely lowers the stress. Damn it, I didn't realize that's what that item did. Can we even get out? How do we get out of this? Hmm. Seems we're stuck in a loop. Can we make it quick? As long as you keep reading the grid for more hints and manage to solve it, you're good. Can't you just tell me the answers outright? Oh, I can't. What's the fun in that? Fun? I don't know what. I'm joking, silly. <laughs> Since this is all about you, it's reasonable you'll be the one to solve your own riddles. Okay, I understand. But I want to leave this place now. Sure, sure. Good luck with the riddle. How much do you really care about me, whoever you are? Hmm. Oh, is this different? As the night unfurls... I'm greeted with the sparkling mantle of the night sky. Glittering and dancing in alternations, they converge to the center where the most beautiful of all shines in pride. Enraptured by its beauty, I once more chase after the light as my most trusted and brightest guide. So is that a hint to go up? Uh... Tired from the endless walk, I fall on my knees. Once more, I look at the blue heaven. The clouds part like curtains on the scene. Three quarters of a white, caring disc faces the opposite of sun. The sunset. The opposite of the sunset. The sun sets in the east. Why is in the west? Sets in the east, right? Using the motivation I had earlier from my reckless journey, I still march on. Okay, I think I need to go to the right this time. Uh, I try to catch my breath. I'm exhausted, tired from my worthless efforts. I sit and take a rest. The night still is long. As soon as my eyes meet with the moonlight, a faint stripe traverse through the sky I cry tears of joy and clench my hands in prayer as the beam of light disappears in Occident please let me find happiness in this life the Occident is the West so if that's the way we're looking uh, Oh, I do not know how long I've been sleeping. I slowly open my eyes and look up. Up? <laughs> it is still night, and yet everything feels brighter than before. Endless veils of colours dimmed in light fill up the black of the sky. I see a figure standing below them, a silhouette hiding its appearance. I decide to follow after and run straight. The figure turning to face me. Looks at me with curiosity. There's a creepy one up there that's looking at me. I realize then I am not alone on this sorrowful journey. Up, up, up. Is it up? There was lots of references to going up. <gasps> I think I made it out. Those are some good clues, though. Those were some really well-written clues. I'd look some of that stuff up. <sighs> oh, hi, guys. Long time no see. Never, never again. Kohei, how are you feeling? You idiot, how do you think he's feeling? It, it was a rhetorical question. Chin up, son, it'll be good, it'll be fine. You did, you did well, you didn't die. Sorry, Kohei, you want to rest? We can take you to the previous safe place. It's all right, I, I don't want to go back there no matter what. I, 
I don't want to see mommy. If she's here, if she sees me, your mom is dead. Remind yourself what this place really is. Now, now, aren't you being a bit cold? I'm just stating the truth, though. In any case, he's here to deal with her and whatever has been bothering him for years. It's our job as guides to tell him where the right path is. You're scared, aren't you, Kohei? Did you expect to find her, first of all? I mean, she's the scariest figure in my life. I mean, seemingly, yeah, she's the reason I left home. She's obviously scarred me beyond belief, but... I did. I kind of knew. Yet, I still hoped she wouldn't pop up. What if it gets worse? If you keep thinking negatively, of course it would look worse than it is. Ah, but I'm sure you can do this. Why don't you rest a little here? Come, come, sleep, rest, relax, put your feet up. Just, 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 just relax, please, a little bit. Once you feel ready, you can proceed. We'll stay here to talk if you want. What is it with the headless horse? I don't really, I want to end this. But if I do, wouldn't it mean I failed again? We can stop this any time you want. D don't feel forced to keep going if you can't handle it. It's all right. I'm sorting through this. I should just keep going. Just push on, get it done, clear those demons out of your mind and move on with your life. All right. Do, 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 do. Take a break. Nice. Uh... Take care. Oh. Okay, so I guess I need to move on. Oh wait, uh, another path has opened up. Oh. And another door. Oh yay. Uh, this is my bedroom. My old house. It looks very nice. I mean, nice houses do not mean nice atmosphere necessarily, of course. I even shrank. Feels really weird. I wonder if I can find Jun here. Alright, uh, auto save for me. Bidding. Alright, let's see what we've got. Books, draw, books. Many school books on Jun's desk. They all appear to be used in some way. What do you mean used? <laughs> Just read? Use it another way. What are these biology books? Uh, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not explore that any further. Inside the last drawer, there's a brand new flashlight. Oh boy! Do you think I'll need the flashlight? A closed book sits on the desk with papers. The sheets all have very messy handwriting, as if notes were taken in a hurry. Messy handwriting. My handwriting then. The box on the desk contains all sorts of writing materials. Oh. All right. Books are all advanced. Nothing suitable for a little kid. Uh, among all these university level books, there are very few books aimed at children. Very few. So I wasn't encouraged in any way. It was all about the bro, the older bro, the older smart genius bro. Little, little, little extra bro. Nobody cared. Except big bro. More school books. You still wonder if this was all necessary. Where does our dad anyway? What happened to him? Among the neatly organised pile of clothes, there are some hidden toys of all forms and colours. One afternoon, when June and I were alone, we went out and bought many toys with his money. He even went far and bought me that airplane keychain. Ah! Ah! June got us, of course, June has got us the bloody airplane keychain. Who else would have got it for us? Mom? I don't think so. Really, really happy back then. Ah. Hidden toys, yeah, okay. Alright, already read that. Nothing there. Nothing here. Among the papers and brand new books, there's a little diary with a lock. Hmm, I don't feel like I should be nosing through stuff. Lamp hasn't been working for some time. Don't need to rest. No, we're good, I think. Let's check. Yeah, I think we're good. Can we leave the room? Alright, what else is in this house? Parents' room has always been locked to stop curious and annoying kids from peeping in. Well, I mean, 
kind of fair play, I suppose. Whose room is this then? What is this, the spare room? Oh, envious of people who had spare rooms when I was a kid. I never understood the concept of the spare room. So weird to me. Well, there's really nothing going on in here, is there? Not even any items. Alright, well, that was worth it. How about in here? God, this bathroom's huge as well! Jesus! There's these all big option buttons for the toilet? Why does the toilet have option buttons? Does it do wipe for you? No need for the toilet. Play many games at the minute where people don't seem to need to pee ever. Dirty laundry waiting to be washed. Been here for at least a week. Ooh, there's a green photo in there though. Yip de doo. That's good. Added to our collection. Little stools next to the bath. To sit on to get dried afterwards. Guess that's it. Guess we'll have to go doing the stairs. But I'm not going to venture doing the stairs. Not quite yet anyway. Um, so I could have sworn the game page for this said it was the demo, but we do seem to be given quite a lot of gameplay so far. So yeah, we will continue this. I will continue this. I am intrigued enough and curious enough to know what is going on. I do feel like we are really just trying to clear our own mind of the just the awful, awful memories. We're just trying to get over the... And, I mean, get over get uh, get over it is kind of a phrase I don't really like. It's more like um, coping is not the right word either. Managing the feelings, coming to terms with them. I'm trying to think of a better phrase, but that's what we seem to be doing. And man, I want to keep going on his journey with him. And if you do too, then keep watching. But if you want to play his journey with him yourselves. Link to the game is in the description below. I still don't know if it's just a demo or if it's the full game, but if you want to go and play for yourself, certainly you can do. Feel free, go ahead. Give it a try. But uh, do not forget, go on, the like button if you're enjoying my little adventure with Core here. Yeah. And don't forget to want the subscribe button too if you want to stay deep with my shenanigans. I've been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.